I've always been fascinated by the mysteries of life and death. Today, we're going to explore a process that's both natural and incredibly complex, human decomposition. It's a topic that might make some of us squeamish, but it's an essential part of the cycle of life. Ready to dive into the science behind what happens to our bodies after we die? The moment of death marks the beginning of a fascinating biological process. As soon as the heart stops beating and the lungs cease to breathe, a cascade of changes begins throughout the body. Without oxygen, cells can no longer maintain their delicate balance, and they start to break down in a process called autolysis. Meanwhile, the body begins to cool in a process known as algor mortis. It's like a slow fade-out of life's warmth, occurring at about 1.5 degrees Celsius per hour. But here's something surprising. Not all parts of your body stop functioning at the same time. Some cells, like those in your hair and nails, continue to live for a short while after death. As decomposition progresses, the body goes through several distinct stages. One of the most well-known is rigor mortis, where the muscles stiffen due to a lack of energy. Another process, called liver mortis, causes blood to pool in the lowest parts of the body due to gravity. As we move further along the timeline of decomposition, bacteria that normally live in our gut begin to take over. They start breaking down tissues, producing gases that cause the body to bloat. It's nature's way of recycling, turning complex organic matter into simpler compounds. Let's explore the later stages of decomposition. As the body continues to break down, it enters a phase called active decay. During this time, the skin begins to rupture, allowing oxygen to reach the internal tissues. Temperature, humidity, and whether the body is buried or exposed all play crucial roles in the decomposition process. Eventually, only the most resilient parts of the body remain, bones, teeth, and sometimes hair. This final stage, known as skeletonization, can take weeks, months, or even years depending on the environment. Now, you might be wondering, why is studying decomposition so important? For forensic scientists, understanding these processes is crucial for determining the time since death in criminal investigations. By examining the state of a body and the insects present, they can often pinpoint when a person died with remarkable accuracy. But decomposition isn't just about solving crimes. It's also a vital part of our ecosystem. As bodies break down, they release nutrients back into the environment, feeding plants and microorganisms. In fact, decomposition creates entire mini ecosystems, supporting a diverse range of life forms. Isn't it fascinating how, even in death, we continue to be part of the great cycle of life on Earth? We've taken a journey through the fascinating process of human decomposition. It's a reminder of our connection to the natural world and the cycles that govern all living things. The next time you walk through a forest or garden, pause for a moment. Remember that the ground beneath your feet is alive with the remnants of countless lives, each one contributing to the ongoing story of life on Earth.